From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your Modoc County Neighborhood Forecast. Well, a lot of people have been asking, how can I get Weather NorCal? Is there a subscription service? Well, number one, first and foremost, this is free. And it's all thanks to all of our wonderful sponsors. I want to thank all of our sponsors. Too many to list off, but uh, I don't want to forget any of you. But you are, of course, the reason why you're sponsors. So remember that when you do see those commercials on Weather NorCal. And remember to support the sponsors whenever you can. But this is what you can do when we're talking about Weather NorCal. Number one, Facebook, Twitter. You can go on YouTube, Roku, Firestick, uh, Apple TV. Here's the bottom line. If you have an internet connection on your phone, your tablet, your computer, you can get Weather NorCal. The one thing to remember though, is that it's not on the TV airwaves, okay? That's not the case here. This is a digital only platform. So you can get it on your TV. You just need a Roku, a Fire TV, or it's coming soon, Apple TV. All right, so we did see some thunderstorms in Modoc County yesterday, and you can see a lot of lightning strikes. But then once the sun set, we saw a lot of that activity kind of die out. And of course, now it's dry. But one more day of unsettled weather, more thunderstorms in the forecast, just not as widespread. Chances are slimmer today, but we have a warming trend. That's going to be the, really the next focus over the next few days and slightly cooler going into next week. So there's a look at your trend here for El Turris. We're up to the upper 90s, not quite the triple digits in Modoc County, but it's going to get close, I think, in some areas here. The normal high, by the way, is about 83 degrees for El Turris. So yeah, we're going to get well above that. So there's your hour by hour forecast today around 80 for both El Turris and Cedarville today. Got the clouds in there. I don't have the raindrops falling from those clouds, though. I think most of the activity will be to our south in the eastern mountains, but we still could see a stray shower and maybe even a chance for an isolated thunderstorm. So the spin of low pressure off to our east, that's responsible. You know, we talked about the last few days. As long as you have that low pressure in place, it's going to continue to bring us those showers and thunderstorms, especially in the mountains. Now, looking at future cast, this is what I was talking about. You see how as we go into the afternoon, we're just looking at a lot of clouds out there, right? Just those puffy cumulus clouds. Now, we could see a stray shower, maybe even a thunderstorm as we go in closer to the evening hours. You kind of see that, but it's drying out. Now, as we go into Wednesday night, of course, it's completely gone for tonight. Then we go into Thursday. You see how we're seeing less cloud cover develop on Thursday. Now we're starting to see high pressure build in, and that's going to mean more sunshine in the forecast and no more rain, no more thunderstorms, at least for now. But there you can see kind of the long range. I wanted to show you this because as we go through next week, it should remain dry. But toward the end of next week, we may see another pattern shift. Now, this is a long way out. I don't want you to take this verbatim. But this is next Thursday. So a week from tomorrow, we may be looking at the potential for some more unsettled activity. That's not guaranteed yet, but we'll certainly keep a close eye on that. All right, here is a look at your forecast for Modoc County. I got that slight chance in there here for today on your 7-day forecast in Cedarville. We can find 81 degrees for Canby, 80 for Aiden. For Bidwell, you'll see a high of about 80 degrees. And looking at your 7-day forecast for El Turris, there's that slight chance I was talking about for today. Temperatures increasing in the low 90s by Friday, mid to upper 90s over the weekend. And there's that drop again in those temperatures next Monday and Tuesday.